The underbelly of the Sprinter is very naked. There's no cover, no nothing that protects the important components down there. And to fix that, many companies make aftermarket skid plates. The latest one comes from Vanspeed, and this is the one I'm installing today. Quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for all of this with my own money. I'm not getting compensated by Vanspeed in any way. Second disclaimer, the kit did not come with any instructions. It is very straightforward to install it and I checked with Venspeed on a few things that I was not 100% sure about. But still, this is not an endorsed install video by Venspeed. I'm doing this the right way, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not following any instructions. The skid plate comes in two parts. This is the front one and it has a cutout for easy access to the oil drain. It has a cover that can be screwed on. And then on this side, there is the Van Speed logo, I guess, laser cut into it. Well, and this is the second part. It attaches to the front one via a few bolts here, and then covers basically the front axle and a little behind the front axle. It is made from aluminum, which might not be the preferred material choice for a skid plate for hardcore off-roading. But I'm not doing hardcore off-roading, I'm just doing normal driving and I want a little bit more protection. The back section weighs in at 3.245 kilograms and the front section weighs in at 4.285 kilograms. That's a total of 7.53 kilograms or about 16.6 pounds. It will get a little heavier because of the hardware and then again it will get a little lighter because I will also remove two parts from the van. I will show you that in a second. Included hardware consists of 12 bolts. They're all the same size. 12 washers with like a rubber backing and then eight of these clips. I would like my hardware to be black, so I'm using a rattle can and quickly paint them. As you can tell, I'm doing this install in my driveway. Well, actually in my garage. The 4x4 Sprinter has a lot of ground clearance and I think I can easily do it from down here. Also, this skid plate only fits the 4x4 Sprinters. Okay, enough talk. Let's do some actual work. So here's the front underside of the van. This is where the oil pan is. And this is the second alternator that the Revel and many other RVs have. And this is very unprotected. Um, here's the front axle, some hoses. I guess that's part of the gearbox up there and then the front differential and transfer case maybe. And all of this is very open, so it gets a lot of road spray, road grime, and that is what I want to add a little more protection for. So this bar here, this cross brace needs to be removed. There's two screws and they are 13 millimeters. The next thing I have to remove is this, well, mini skid plate that came with the van. It protects the leaf spring here. It also has four 13 millimeter bolts. So let me remove that one. Combined weight of the two parts I just removed is 2.085 kilograms. So I'm adding, what did we say, 7.58 and I have removed about 2 kilograms. So I'm only adding about 5.5 kilograms. Not bad. The skid plate attaches to existing holes of the frame, but they are not threaded. So that's where these clips come into play. They slide 
over kind of these holes and this is impossible to film but they pretty much add a thread to those non-threaded holes. There's two here, one here, one here and then three in the back and I for sure cannot film the ones in the back. I can hardly film the ones here in the front. And then the remaining three clips clip into the back side or the back part of the skid plate so the front part can be attached. I'm pretty sure my video is the first one on all of YouTube showing the installation of the Vans, Vans Beat Skid Plate. It might not be the best video though, because filming here, working on the floor, is quite awkward. These are the four balls of the existing or the original mini skid plate and now I have three of the new balls that go in the back here. Before I install the front section of the skid plate, I want to cover this cutout logo here. I mean, the main reason for me installing a skid plate is protection from road grime and this hole is basically right where the second alternator is, so it needs to be covered. Venspeed sent me this bag and I really like this orange-yellow color scheme. So I cut a little bit of plexiglass and, and painted it in the same orange uh, yellow gradient and this is what I will be taping to the back here. So in the front the skid plate attaches to the same mounting holes this cross bar attached to and then in the back it screws into the back part of the skid plate. Let's see how this lines up. Finally, the cover for the oil drain. Okay, which way does this one go on? Like so, maybe? So I really like this Ben Speed skid plate. I think it's a good compromise between being lightweight and protecting the underside of the van. Maybe it is not suited for hardcore off-roading, but then again, the entire Sprinter isn't really suited for hardcore off-roading. 
Installation was super easy. It only requires two tools, a 13 mm socket wrench and then some non-metric Allen key. I'd say it can be installed in less than an hour and there is no parts that need to be cut out or, or cut away. It fits right in. For me, the hardest part really was to say van speed. I was always thinking about van compass, but I don't want to mention that in this video. Well, and that's all I had for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.